Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of In the Kitchen with me, Mikey, and our cameraman, Roy. Hey. As always, we are making a drink. Today, it is hotter than Hades outside, and most of the United States is. So, I, I think it's like 105. So, we are making something very cool and refreshing. We are in West Virginia, and our Martinsburg peaches are just coming on. So, this is peach margaritas. The ingredients are simple. Two cut up peaches, a lot of ice, and a lot of tequila. Blend it. Drink it. Yum. Wow, that's more like a tequi tequila rita. It's Not a fan. <clears throat> Buttery, almost. Anyway. It's, it's good. <laughs> We've got a good show for you in store. For you in... We have a good show in store for you tonight. And no, as always, we have not been pre-drinking. No, never. First sip. So, we've got our water boiling, so you know something boiling's coming. We're going to be doing um, a stir-fried beef dish, a ton of vegetables with noodles, uh, similar to a lo mein, but extremely quick. Get it done, uh, turn off your, your fire, it's so hot. Feed your family really good, feed your family really fresh. We'll be right back on In the Kitchen with Mikey. Hey guys, our wok is smoking hot. Um, if you don't have a wok, I would invest in one. Uh, try to find the one that is the flat bottom. It works with gas and electric. What we're going to start with is just a little bit of the beef trimming. This will be your oil. You won't need to add any more. And come on, it's got a lot of flavor. Um, if you don't want to go this route, that's fine. Use just a little bit of vegetable oil. Um, I wouldn't really use olive oil in this by itself. It has too low of a uh, smoke point. Get this going, coat your entire wok. In here, I have one half pound of a beef roast that I did tenderize. I beat it, I beat it up. He did, he whooped it. <laughs> the key to your wok not sticking, as with most, most of your pans, get it smoking hot before you use it. Um, don't put your oil in it until it is hot. Put a few drops in. There you go. And this will continue to cook afterwards if you want just a little bit of color on it. We be cooking in here. All the time. Yes. And even some margaritas once in a while too. <laughs> Gotta love the margaritas. On your vegetables, you want to put them in what cooks the slowest. So in this case, I'm going to actually throw in some mushrooms. These are just regular button mushrooms cut up. And uh, don't worry too much about sticking largely to a recipe with this. Use what vegetables you like in here. Uh, experiment. There may be something you don't like. I know I say that a lot, but it really, cooking is what you want. I can show you the technique. You, If you're not familiar with ingredients, I'll show you that too. But for the most part, you know what you eat, you know what your family eats. Uh, get fresh, get away from the cans. This is summertime. All your fruits and vegetables are coming on. Use them. Uh, wintertime, it's better to use frozen than it is canned. Look at your cans, read the ingredients. They add a lot of stuff. Uh, as you guys know, I've been on the health kick for about three months now. I personally do not eat meat, but uh, I will eat fish. And yes, fish is a meat kind of soil. Um, so, back to it. You want to toss in your vegetables that take the longest to cook. Your mushroom, I, I really want to get some of that umami flavor from the meat. 
Then here we have some beautiful, beautiful uh, orange bell peppers and some green bell peppers. These are going to sweat and create a little bit of liquid. I'm trying to set uh, our cameraman on fire. And mm -hmm. he to. Hey Roy, are you getting hot in the kitchen? Buddy? I am. It's warm up in here. Okay, now is the time to throw in your noodles. This is what I use for basically a standard use everything. They are, I'm sure somewhere on here it says at home ramen without all the seasonings. You make them how you like them. Uh, believe it or not, um, just about three bucks and you get Oops. somebody calling. <laughs> I'm popular, what can I say? You get 14 servings, or I'm sorry, 14 packets, which, you know, I'm going to go ahead and use two of these, and I'm going to use three. They're completely unseasoned, throw them in your water, this is not going to take long at all, and yes, I know, they're not quite all the way down in there, that's why I always keep hot water going. By the time we'll, we're done, they'll be done. So. As you see, this is going pretty much on its own. Nothing has stuck. We are now going to start seasoning it. Just cracked black pepper. Um, I prefer to grind my own, but I use a ton of pepper. Any kind of pepper will do, white pepper. I'm gonna throw in about a cup of scallions. And with the peppers, um, let's go to the beef. The beef was a half a pound cut I left some of the fat in it. Your bell peppers, it was one orange bell pepper, one green bell pepper. This is two full bunches of onions, but you know, we both agree we love onions. Yes. Oh, can you smell that? Yeah, that smell. If you've ever been to like a Mongolian bar where they cook everything in front of you, yes. there's nothing that beats um, almost a um, scorched onion smell. Delicious. Okay, here is something you may not be super duper familiar with. Uh, you've seen me use it a lot, but not this way. This is fresh ginger. It's one inch of fresh ginger. Again, Roy and I both really like ginger. Yes. So it's something we'll use a lot of. Ginger's kind. Uh, and it, yes, that is what real ginger ale is made from. Um, it's got a little bit of a bite, somewhat lemony. Um, a little spicy. It's good for your fresh. digestion system too. Oh yeah, a great digestive. So, here we are going to be using sparingly. I have six cloves of garlic. You don't have to be sparing with the garlic. The ingredient that you do is tucked to the side. That is one quarter of a serrano pepper, finely diced. And I'm only going to use about a teaspoon. If you like it much harder, hotter, by all means, go right ahead. Ooh, smell that. Smell that. That will open up your sinus. Yes, smell that garlic, smell that onion. i tell you something else that would go really well in here. Mm. If you have some uh, leftover pineapple, yeah. or just toss in some uh, canned pineapple, you can't go wrong with it. This is a, uh, an ingredient that we used in a previous episode. It is uh, Korean doraji or bellflower root. Roy and I both really like it. It's really good. It doesn't add a super large amount of flavor, but it does add a great crunch. Now, we are going to let this cook for about three to four minutes until our noodles are done. And then I'll show you how to make a very light sauce with it when we come back. Welcome back. Our stir fry is almost ready. If you are using a wok, just push all of your um, stir fry ingredients, short of the noodles, up to the sides and they won't cook as fast. As a finishing, you want just a smidge of, this is roasted sesame oil. It is a very, very, very strong tasting oil. 
in there, I've got maybe a half a teaspoon. Um, go ahead and let that heat up. Start your noodles. Well, to bring your noodles over, they're already started. And these are just like your ramen. They just don't have any um, seasoning packets with them. And if you've got extra seasoning packets or you want to make your own, by all means, go ahead. Save a little bit of your water. You will use that if I don't set fire to my kitchen. Here you can break up some of your noodles while you're stirring. Hey, wait a minute, those noodles are awfully white. Yes. Yeah. There's an ingredient we haven't added yet. Yes. I think they need a little flavor. A little flavor. We are going to add two little flavors to this. We are going to add about a half a tablespoon of miso. Now I use a dark miso. If you don't have miso, you're more than welcome uh, with uh, the Korean version, dinjong, or uh, fermented soybean paste. The Chinese also have one black uh, bean paste. If you don't have it, just a little bit more soy sauce, all it needs. That stuff gives it that umami taste. Very, very umami. Yes. Break that in. This can now be turned off. Want to add about four good tablespoons of your favorite soy sauce. You will notice I did not salt any of this. This is why. Your soy sauce is extremely, extremely salty. Mm, smell that. All in all, in real time, this took us about 10 minutes once the water got boiled. The longest part of this is cutting up your vegetables. Please feel free to use um, some leftover vegetables. Like I said, it is hotter than a cat's back up here in West Virginia. As I'm sure it is, pretty much where you're at. Our heat index was 105 today, and it's still well over 90 outside. So, you don't really need to serve this with anything. All of your vegetables are in here. Um, I would do something fruity for a dessert. Um, a good one, uh, I'm sure those, those of you that make a lot of smoothies out there, you keep your berries in the freezer. You got a great deal on maybe some summer blueberries, some summer strawberries. Don't be afraid if you're not gonna use them all. Don't worry about just making jams or jellies. Toss them in your freezer. Use them as ice cubes when you go to make your next smoothie or, we gotta talk about that. I'm, I'm popular. Uh, when, you make a <laughs> when you make a smoothie or your next mixed drink, throw a handful in there, cut back a little bit on your ice. I want to thank you guys for coming into my kitchen again, both me and Roy. Hey. And since you're here, and since you're watching, and since you've come this far, why don't you guys hit the like and the subscribe yes. button. Yes. Just to let you know what's coming up pretty soon, we are going to be doing a live cooking show. Haven't quite decided, but if there's something you'd like to see us cook live, please keep in mind we need to keep our time under an hour. Let us know, and we'll be happy, happy to cook it. Just comment below. And also, we'd like to know where you're from and yes. we would like to hear from you. We are again in Charleston, West Virginia. From my kitchen to yours, have a great day. Hey everyone, we just finished eating. We did the um, Asian inspired noodles. From the pictures um, that were in here, you saw that we added uh, some broccoli and carrots to it. Um, I ended up having some extra vegetables. 
wanted more vegetables in it. Um, I am a vegetarian. I will still eat fish. Um, Roy likes to eat a lot of things too. I do. I come from a long line of eaters. He does, and he is such such an amazing person. He really is. Um, he's helping Thank me you. do. You're welcome. He's helping me do this. We've had a lot of good times doing it. Uh, we're only, you know, uh, a month and a half, two months into this, and uh, we're not going to quit. Um, so you might as well like and subscribe while yes. you're here. Like and subscribe. So, um, hey, Roy. Hey. You know we have this little segment we do once in a while, right? Oh no. Um, is you, it? You, you might as well say it. Is it? Is it? Uh, guess what time it is? Guess what time it is? Look, you can tell the camera's shaking. I got kind of. <laughs> <laughs> um, every now and then, uh, I'm going to find a new ingredient or um, something that Roy or either of us has never tried, and sometimes. Roy has had to take one for the team. Yeah. Mm. And uh, been a little bit more uh, open than I sometimes am. Uh, this is actually one I've been curious about. I've never had it. Um, oh. oh, thanks. <laughs> I, yeah, so I don't know if it's good. Um, uh, I want to thank Miss Emmy Made in Japan for uh, inspiring me to go ahead and try this on my own and to do a taste test. So, um, uh, in the spirit of Miss Emmy Made in Japan, uh, I believe they say ito takimas before they eat. So, oh no, <laughs> guys, this is a fluffer nutter grilled peanut butter marshmallow cream. Oh no. Um, Never had this, so we are both going to try. Oh, yay. But this is really about Roy. So we're going to let Roy take the first bite because what? Yeah, we ain't greedy. And we ain't stupid either. Hey, Roy. Hi. How you doing? I'm pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. You no. Know, look. Oh, the single ladies. Oh, the single. Yeah, I got to stop there because yeah, uh, they, that's live. I don't want Bouncy su suing us. So, here we go. He's going to pick one up. Ew. Oh, come on. I'm going. I'm going. It's going to be delish. All right. <clears throat> I can guarantee you've never eaten anything like it. I never would eat anything like this. Fluff or nutter. Okay, so we need the reaction. That's not bad. See? That's not bad at all. You know what you're in, in store for now. It's almost like peanut butter fudge. Is it really? Yeah. Well, I guess it would be almost the same ingredients. Yeah. All right, let's see. And Elizabeth wanted to come up and say hi. Hi, Elizabeth. There's fiber. Yes, the food is up, except for our little snacks. Okay. Love and utter. Okay, I'm quite cool with this. I think what you what you said with the with the fudge, yeah, it's it's not as sweet as you think it would be. No, nope. it's really not. Um, grilling, I've seen it done grilled, and I've seen it done just on toast. I would go for the grilled myself. The butter really adds a little bit of a tang to it. But um, thank you guys for sticking with us. And uh, keep coming, send your friends over here. Um, if there's something you want us to try for this segment, Roy would love to hear from you. Oh yeah, anything but blue, no blue. <laughs> yeah, we draw the line. Yeah, uh, There are a few things, mm, yeah, we just say no to. It would I'm, just an be waste. I'm an adventurous eater, but not that adventurous. Um, to let you know uh, of a few things that are in the works right now, we are going to have a start to finish show which is actually from the shopping, show you a few places around here, and some places to get some really good bargains that you may not think to look. Uh, also, we are going to do a live show coming up very, very soon. If you guys have any ideas that you would like us to do for that live, 
like I said, just let us know, comment below. But please, please, please try to keep the prep time to about an hour. Uh, we don't want the video to go too, too long. People tend to lose interest. Yeah, but you don't want to bore you. Yeah, we don't want to bore you guys. You want to buy it? Y'all have a great one, and thank you for stopping in. Peace.